welcome to africa 54. thank you so much for having me uh, from where you yeah. stand where do you see uh, technology going how are people using technology technology no doubt is changing narratives in how businesses are done in how human activities are um, carried out from uh, farming agriculture to healthcare to education to communication technology is changing the landscape of the world entirely and africa is not left out of it um the the covid experience has shown the world that with technology human beings are capable of achieving enormous things and and so looking at africa specifically in terms of the um, challenges in terms of the um, human capital required. Technology can help Africa to leapfrog. Technology can help Africa to deliver better human services. You are in a, a position where you talk to a lot of people in this space. Uh, what are their concerns? Uh, how do they want the cyber space, okay. the tech sector? How do you see it being developed in uh, Nigeria? Tech space in Africa is um, fast evolving and um, both regula uh, regulatory authorities as well as users are beginning to see why Africa cannot be left out. In a way, um, technology is helping the quality of life to improve um, drastically and rapidly across Africa. A lot of analysts uh, who cover this uh, space uh, yourself uh, talk about uh, how data is going to be critical uh, to uh, advance uh, this technology, especially artificial intelligence. Uh, in Africa, we have da data there, but this data is not stored in the right places. Uh, this data is still written uh, and hidden in some file somewhere. It's not uh, digitized. How can we take advantage of the existing technology uh, to harness that data? Thank you so much, Paul, for that very incisive uh, question. Now, data that is not refined is of no value. Data that is processed, data that is crystallized, data that is researched, data that is, um, you know, a package in a way that the value of it would be usable for other social economic benefit is what he referred to. Otherwise, crude oil would not be of much significance to humanity except it is refined. So when data is refined, you get to know some um, dynamics, you get to understand some statistics that, okay, there are a number of children in this geopolitical region who are undernourished or malnourished. There are a number of youths who are unemployed or underemployed in this space. There are a number of um, uh, people who need medical services in a particular location. Now, this data helps government to plan. It helps organization also to take advantage of market opportunities. Yeah, you're organizing one of the biggest uh, conferences, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, tomorrow that brings together people in uh, this uh, space. What should uh, people take away from uh, this conference? We talk about security of this infrastructure and security of data, as well as um, um, the adoption of the new concept of cloud in order to process data. Now, um, just in 2023, the telecom regulator in Nigeria, the Nigerian Communications Commission, the NCC, reported over 50,000 cases of optic fiber vandalization in Nigeria. And that is a, a huge economic challenge or sabotage. Now, if you lose such investment in such a strategic sector, it means that the economy may not be able to find the needed balance that will allow other sectors to benefit from the value of the telecom industry at large. So, our event, this forum, Data, Infrastructure, Security, and Cloud um, uh, Forum, is intended to aggregate this sort of conversation, provide solutions, and help to optimize the benefits and the advantages inherent in the telecom industry and the Nigerian economy at large.